Greetings from Dr. Peter McLuhan, your host for another adventure in the life Jesus modeled. Our topic today is Blind Bartimaeus. On his final journey from Galilee to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled down the Jordan Valley to Jericho before taking the desert road up to Jerusalem. The journey to Jericho was filled with interesting conversation between Jesus, his disciples, and the people he met along the way. He took time to hold children in his arms and bless them. He said, let the children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Mark chapter 10 and verse 14. He answered a question from a rich young ruler who wanted to know what to do to inherit eternal life. He announced for the third time that he would be crucified in Jerusalem and buried there, and after three days he would rise again. Eventually, Jesus and his followers arrived at the beautiful date palm oasis of Jericho. Ancient Jericho still lay in ruins since the time of Joshua's conquest, but nearby was the rebuilt city of the first century. This helps us understand why Mark wrote, They came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. Mark chapter 10 and verse 46. It appears that Jesus met Bartimaeus between the old and the new cities. Luke says, Hearing a crowd going by, Bartimaeus inquired what this meant. Luke chapter 18 and verse 36. Beggars used to look forward to the festivals in Jerusalem because pilgrims passing by would give generously to legitimate beggars. Blind Bartimaeus knew that it was too soon for the wave of pilgrims to pass by, so he was curious to discover what the commotion was all about. And when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was going to walk past him, he began to shout as loudly as he could, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Mark chapter 10 and verse 47. Instantly, Bartimaeus understood that Jesus of Nazareth was a reference to the long-awaited Messiah. Isn't it interesting that a blind man identified Jesus as the promised descendant of David, the Messiah, the Son of God? He knew that Messiah will open the eyes of the blind and much more. He knew that this was his day and no one could keep him quiet. Mark says, many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Mark chapter 10 and verse 48. The cries of the man came to the attention of Jesus. Mark says, Jesus stopped. Mark chapter 10 and verse 49. Jesus always stops for truly hungry people. He is ready to stop right now and touch you. He said, call him. And they called the blind man saying, take heart, get up. Jesus is calling for you. Mark chapter 10 and verse 49. I can hear Jesus calling you. If you hear his voice right now, get up and come to him. Notice what Bartimaeus did. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Mark chapter 10 and verse 50. What he threw off was just not a coat for warmth. In the first century, if you were medically certified to be blind or crippled, you were given a special cloak so that people would know that you were not a fake. Notice the man threw off his cloak. It could easily have been stolen. He did not care because he believed he would be healed. He sprang up as in leaping into the air high as he could and rushed towards Jesus. What an example of faith he is to us. He got off his social benefit. 
He let go of his pride. He let go of his identity as a handicapped person for a new life he believed that Jesus had the power to give him. Now people were eager to help him stand directly in front of Jesus. What do you think he expected Jesus to do? What would you have expected Jesus to do? Jesus asked him what appeared to be an obvious question. What do you want me to do for you? Allow me to ask you that question. What do you want Jesus to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. Mark chapter 10 and verse 51. While it is possible the man was born blind, it is more likely he had lost his sight and now was eager to have it back. What have you lost that you used to have? What have you lost the use of that formerly you were able to use? Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And Mark says, immediately he recovered his sight. Mark chapter 10 and verse 52. If you're blind, I command your eyes to open right now by the power of the name of Jesus. Eyes be open. Eye disease go right now in the name of Jesus. If you've just been healed, write to me and tell me what God has just done for you. The moment his eyes were opened, he was looking into the eyes of God's Messiah. What an astonishing thought. I pray that God will open your eyes through this message and you will see what blind Bartimaeus saw, to see that Jesus was more than a prophet, to see that Jesus is God's Messiah, the Savior of the world. But that was not all that happened. Mark says Bartimaeus made an important decision Mark chapter 10 and verse 52, he followed him on the way. On the way to where? Jesus was going to Jerusalem. Bartimaeus followed Jesus to Jerusalem to attend the Passover celebration. And there he discovered that he had not only had his sight completely restored, he discovered that Jesus was going to die for him in his place so that he could be forgiven. What a powerful story. Next week, we'll continue studying the life Jesus modeled. Before I leave you, let me take a few moments and pray for you. We've seen so many people healed from so many amazing diseases. We want to take a few moments today to especially pray for people who have had sight and lost it. If you're suffering from retinia disease or cornea problems, cataracts, floaters, partial or total blindness. We command your retina to be restored. Prayed for a lady who was, had gone blind in one eye because of her diabetes, and a month later her eye opened and she could see perfectly clearly again. Cornea disease, go in the name of Jesus. Cataracts, of course people can get cataract surgery, but you live in such a remote place, it's not possible. And so I command the cloudiness in your eyes to go right now. Many people have lost their floaters. Floaters, go right now in Jesus' name. I pray that God will open your eyes to see the spiritual truth in this story, that you will see like Bartimaeus saw, not just a man who could help him, but who the man is. It is Bartimaeus who in Luke's account is the first to identify since his birth that this is the son of David. I open your eyes to see who Jesus is. I call off of you false identity. Uh, you've taken on an identity because you've suffered for so long, and I, and I just release to you and who you are in Jesus. Leave your old identity behind and walk in the new life that Jesus has for you. You've received a healing today. Write to me and let me know what God has done for you. Next week, we'll continue studying the life Jesus modeled. We hope this message has filled you with living hope in Jesus. If you would like to talk with someone about your spiritual journey, please leave a comment or send us a private message. We enjoy reading your notes and having an opportunity to pray with you. 
If you received a blessing through this message, please share it with others. We invite you to become a Living Hope Partner by donating as little as $1 a month through our QR code. Your gifts will help us create new messages and reach more people. Living Hope is a ministry of Ingleside International Incorporated. All donations to Living Hope qualify as a charitable contribution. Thank you for your prayers and support. Next week, we will continue learning together from the Word of God. God bless you and fill you with living hope.